Now, I want to just re do a little bit of recap on what I taught last week on covenants. Remember, when it comes to covenants, you are not in covenant with God, okay? So tell your neighbor, you are not in covenant with God. The covenants, the first covenant, the Adamic covenant, God made with Adam. So it was with Adam, but the beneficiaries would was or who would be impacted and be part of that covenant were all the children that, that Adam and Eve would have. Okay, then the next covenant he had with Noah. So the covenant was with Noah, but the benefactors or beneficiaries were all the nations of the world all the peoples of the world, okay. And the next covenant I want to speak about is the Abrahamic covenant. It's called Abrahamic covenant because God made the covenant with, with Abraham. And then he confirmed it to Isaac, who was Abraham's son, and also to Jacob, okay. So it's very important to understand the covenant is not with us. The covenant, was made with certain individuals. Why those particular individuals? Because of the condition of their hearts. It's because of the nature of their hearts. God didn't just pick anybody and enter into a covenant with anybody because maybe they were tall or they were short. Maybe they were smiling or they were happy. He particularly went into covenant with those people with whom he had a relationship with. When we read about with Adam, remember Adam was, was is you can say that the, the first human being created by God is Adam. He was created a perfect man with no sin. And then out of Adam came Eve. So God made the promise to Adam before Adam fell. So Adam, the covenant made with Adam, which is Genesis uh, 1, 26, it says, then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them rule over the fish of the sea, over the flying creatures of the sky, over the livestock, over the whole earth, over every crawling creature that crawls on the land. God created humankind in his image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, and he created them. So you and I are created in his image and in his likeness. But we are not all created at the same time. It was Adam to whom this word was given. And then through him, all of us came into place. Okay, so it's important to remember that. Then the covenant we're speaking uh, um, or covering today is the uh, um, Abrahamic covenant. Now, like what I said, the Abrahamic covenant uh, was made in, uh, to Abraham in Genesis. Uh, I'll read Genesis chapter 17 from verses 7 to 8. The word of God says, I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you. So listen carefully. God says to Abraham, I am establishing my covenant. Whose covenant is it? God's covenant. And how long is this covenant for? It's an everlasting covenant. Everlasting means forever and ever and ever. It doesn't come to an end. And the covenant, who is it between? It's between me, God himself, and you, Abraham. And then it says, and your descendants after you for the generations to come. To be your God and the God of your descendants after you. The whole land of Canaan, where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give you as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you, and I will be their God. That's what God said. That is the covenant God entered into with Abraham. And the covenant was to benefit all his children, generations to come, all his descendants. Okay, and then in Genesis chapter 12, one to three, 
the Lord says to Abraham, I will make you a great nation and I will bless, bless you. So God is the one who tells Abraham, I'm going to make you a great nation and I'm going to bless you. He says, I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. How many people will be blessed through Abraham? It says all the people of the earth. So you and I are beneficiaries of this Abrahamic covenant. But it's a covenant that you can, can only be activated, can come alive, can work in you by faith. Faith in who? Faith in God. Okay. Because it was God who made the covenant and he made it with Abraham. And the basis upon which it was made, the basis is faith. So faith in God is at the center of a covenant. Remember what we said that the covenant, God, a covenant is an agreement between two parties. It's an agreement. So there's a part that one part plays and there is a part for the other part. If the one who made the covenant is God, he doesn't, God does, does not make mistakes. So we know that once he has spoken what he has spoken, it will come to pass. However, if we don't receive what God has given us, the covenant that he, that he has made of which we are beneficiaries of, if we don't receive, then the blessing that is spoken will not work for us. The blessing will not work for us. Do you understand? 